guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we just have i honestly feel like it's a good beginner friendly ombre nail set so it's going to be a butterfly ombre with some sparkle nail art here is the inspiration for the nail set. It's just that one nail that's the ombre that I really liked and I just wanna do the whole set with that design. So yes, this is another spring nail set, but I think this is probably going to be my last one. And then I'll get into the summer nails, like the really colorful, bright summer nail designs. And I just felt like doing some ombres today. So yeah, that's why we're doing this nail set. So here's everything that we're going to need for the nails. I just have a nude poly gel from McCart, some white gel polish, pink gel polish, the butterfly stickers. I found the perfect little pack of them that's like literally just like the reference picture and honestly just to make it a little more fun i'm going to add on this blue iridescent powder on top so that's pretty much all we're going to need let's just get right into this nail set okay so here are my natural nails they're honestly just like a little crusty around the cuticle areas also ignore my other hand she's really crusty but i'm too lazy to fix her so we're just gonna ignore her so i'm gonna start off with some nail prep i'm just going to push back the cuticles Now I'm going to take this circular cuticle drill bit and work this around the cuticle areas. Now I'm gonna take my cuticle scissors and trim off all the excess dead skin. Okay, now I'm going to trim down my nails. Then I'm just going to file them to make them smooth. Now I'm going to take a fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to file over the nails. Okay, I'm going to put on a peel off base coat now and then I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to size out the nail tips. I'm going to glue on these nail tips with some base coat. Okay, so nail tips are on. Now I'm going to trim them down. I think I want these to be like, I don't know, really. I think maybe like this. Yeah, that's good. That's a good length. Okay, so here is the length. Now I'm just going to shape the nails a little. Okay, now I'm going to remove the shine from all the nail tips. Now I'm just going to add on a layer of base coat to all the nails. Here's what I'm using as my slip solution. Because they are ombre, we're gonna start at the tip of the nail. I'm just gonna take the white gel polish and paint this at the tip. And I'm just gonna blend this down just a little bit, just 
doesn't need to be like super blended okay now i'm going to cure this okay so this part is cured now i'm just gonna get my butterfly stickers and i'm gonna put these on the nail Now I'm just going to take some top coat and I'm going to paint a layer over the tip of the nail. And this is gonna be like our clear encapsulation, but we're just using top coat because it's much faster. And we're gonna encapsulate the entire nail anyway, so let's just make it easier for ourselves now. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this. Okay, so tip of the nail is done. Now we're just going to take the nude poly gel and I'm going to put this at the cuticle area and I'm just going to get smoothing this out. To start off, I just take this bead and smooth it out a little bit and then push it back towards the skin So once I have the nail looking like this, I'm just going to take off a little bit of the poly gel because I don't want the ombre to go up that far. And then I'm gonna start right here at this line of the poly gel and just drag this down towards the tip. Okay, so I think this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, so I feel like it looks nice, but I feel like it's just like a little bit too see-through and you can kind of see the white under there. It's kind of like straight line looking. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more of the nude poly gel and I'm gonna do the same thing and just smooth it out. This is just to make the color more opaque and this part to be a little bit thicker. So once I have the nail looking like this, you know, we have a lot of extra poly gel at the tip. I just take off what I don't want and then I just blend that out. Okay, I feel like that's a bit better. I'm gonna cure this. Okay, and just to finish this nail off, I'm going to get some clear poly gel. Oh yeah, we're gonna need clear poly gel. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. And then I'm just gonna put a bead of the clear at the tip of the nail. And then I'm just going to smooth that out. And so I just take this bead and I just cover the whole nail. Like I drag it back all the way to the skin, like as far as the poly gel will go. then I just get to smoothing it all out. It kind of looks crazy right now. I just drag off all the excess poly gel. Maybe I should not put as much poly gel to begin with. Like all this back here, we don't need this. I'm just going to take that off. I'm just going to slice off this extra poly gel. That's my favorite part. I just love it, it's so satisfying. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. You know, butterfly ombres is just such a cute staple design. Like it's always gonna look good. The butterflies just add that nice little touch of detail, nail art, and then the ombre. I'm excited to draw the sparkles on here too. I know that's just gonna add like I don't know, a nice touch. So we did the first nail. Here's how the side looks. I feel like the thickness is okay. Like when I file it, I'll probably make it a little bit thinner. So moving on to the rest of the nails, it's just gonna be the same process. So I'm gonna start with the white and I'm just gonna paint all the tips white.
then I'm just going to blend them down a little. Now I'm going to cure them. Okay, now let's add on these butterflies. Now it doesn't want to come off. What the heck? I usually have a problem with stickers coming off too easily, but now look at this piece is stuck on there. Like, you can't be that sticky that you can't even come off. You know, that's just like really annoying. I don't like this placement. That's why I am like taking them off. Oh my gosh, they all don't want to come off. You know, this nail is a disaster. <laughs> um, Let's move on. And I think I'm going to file that because they are just not coming off. I mean, I'd rather have a sticker not come off than come off too easily, you know? So, I mean, it's all right. I'm not super mad about it. It's just, uh, now I gotta file them off because I can't get them off that easy. So, I'm just going to seal in these two nails with the top coat. I've been looking for these nail wipes and they've been right in front of me this whole time. I'm gonna paint another layer of white on here. Okay, fixed it. Now I'm gonna add on that layer of top coat. Okay, so the tips are done. I'm going to do all the cuticle areas. So I'm just adding that bead right there and then I'm gonna get smoothing this out. So during this ombre part, I didn't really talk much. I wasn't really explaining. And honestly, it's because this part was getting a little bit frustrating. Usually I enjoy doing ombres. I think ombres are fun to do, but just something about the day that I was doing these nails, it just wasn't working out for me. So like, I feel like the poly gel was a little bit more runny than normal and it just wouldn't build up the way I wanted it to. And also the nude was kind of see-through, which is, you know, my fault because I chose this color. I know this color see-through, but I kind of hoped that you couldn't see the, the white line under there, but you could. So I had to put even more poly gel on the nails to try and make the color more opaque. It just took me a long time to do these ombres. And honestly, while I'm here talking in the voiceover, you're probably confused by the thumbnail. Why is the thumbnail different from the nails that we're doing? And you'll see kind of at the end of this video what happened and why we're doing these nails, but the nails turned out different. You'll see. Um, so I guess we're just gonna speed through these ombres. I'm just kind of doing the same thing over again, but I guess let me know in the comments if you enjoy doing ombre nails or if you think they're hard, whatever you think about ombre nails, let me know in the comments. I just wanna know your opinion on them. But for me, while I was doing these nails, the difficulty of these ombres was getting up to like a six. Like I just could spend so much time trying to perfect it. And that was what was making me frustrated. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, let's just get past these ombres and continue on with the nail set. on from the ombres now we're doing the clear encapsulation you know i thought i mentioned this in the video but i guess i didn't i must have been really not feeling like talking because i just go right in and start doing the clear i just keep the clear poly gel at the tip of the nail and i probably could have put a little bit less but it's okay you know just take off the excess no big deal and i just kind of smooth out the clear poly gel really trying to make sure that the ombre gets encapsulated as well as the tip of the nail because all we put at the tip of the nail was a layer of gel polish like that's not we need more thickness on there so trying to make the tip of the nail thicker and then just encapsulating the ombre. Usually when I do ombre nails, I usually put poly gel at the tip of the nail. And then if I wanna add in any decorations and then I do the ombre and then I encapsulate again. Honestly, if you could avoid putting poly gel at the tip of the nail first and 
maybe just use a gel polish instead if you want color there definitely do that because you know it'll help make the nails not so thick and that's kind of a problem for me like i feel like i'm getting better now but usually my nails would turn out really thick all right lastly we're on to the thumbnail i was thinking if i wanted to do a instagram reel or not for it but i don't feel like it so we're just gonna do that same process these nails are looking so cute. They're a little thick, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, that's what filing's for. I'm gonna shave them down a little. Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after all the poly gels on. Now I just have my McCart dust collector and a hand file and we're gonna get reshaping these nails. Okay, so the nails are all shaped. Here's how they're looking. We're gonna get into this nail art now. I feel like, mm, I feel like the nail art's just gonna, I don't know, add such a cute touch. So we're gonna be doing some sparkles and I'm gonna be using this light pink. I almost got too excited. Before we do the sparkles, we're gonna rub on this blue iridescent powder. And to do this, we're just gonna paint on a layer of top coat to the nails. I'm just gonna make this a really thin layer because we're gonna have to put on another layer of top coat after and I just don't want there to be too much top coat piling up. Okay, so a nice thin layer of top coats on the nail. I'm gonna cure this just for the full amount of time, just for 30 seconds. Okay, so I have my little applicator and I'm just gonna get this chrome powder and rub this on the nail. I got this chrome powder from Michael's or some craft store. I can't remember. That is so nice. It kind of makes the nails yellow. You guys see that, right? It's like if without the blue sheen, it makes like 
it yellow. But I like it a lot. Can we get past the yellowness to keep this on there? I don't know, like I feel like it looks so cool. I don't know, I need help. I didn't know it would add like a yellow tint to it. I feel like we can get past the yellow. Why does it have to give it that yellowness? Cause it's like besides that, it looks super cool. I feel like it's not too bad, but it's also kind of like a little bit bad. I think I'm gonna keep it. I just think the blue is so cool even though it's like yellowy. I'm gonna add top coat onto the next nail. Maybe we need to see two nails done to really decide what we're gonna do. I don't know, maybe it's the lighting. Cause like when I look at the nails from like this angle, it's not too bad. When I look at it like under my light, I don't know, on camera at least, it looks so yellow. It's like, I really want to keep it because I like the blue, but I really don't like the yellow. Who put that there? Who made the yellow tinge on there? I'm sad now because I feel like I'm going to wipe it off. You know, I might be really annoying, but I just can't decide. I just don't know. I think I'm going to continue. <laughs> like, I'm really hoping that if I do it on all the nails and see them all together, it's not going to look that bad. Like, I'm just trying to convince myself that it can look good, but if it doesn't look good by the end, then when I'm taking them off, I'm gonna be annoyed. What would you guys do? I, I still don't know. Just, I, I'm not really too sure as of right now what to do. And by the time you're watching this vid, I've already decided because the video's out. But let me know in the comments, uh, what would you do right now in this exact moment? Keep this blue on even though there's like yellow or wipe it off and just no, no blue shimmer at all. You know, I have an idea that just came to me. What if I mixed a little bit of this powder with some top coat? Will it still have that yellowness in it or will it just be like blue sparkly? Let me try it. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. It's not looking right. The yellow, it makes it look like I purposely did that with the yellow. Like it makes it look like my product turned yellow when I cured it. Okay, next attempt. If this doesn't look okay, then we're wiping this off. I'm gonna get some top coat and I'm gonna take the powder and put it in the top coat. I, I don't think this is gonna look how, ooh, wait a minute. That's kind of nice, but I think it might still be yellowy. I mixed it on like a, the worst part of my mixing plate where there's that gel on there. I have this brush from one of my empty top coats. Okay, so it does make the glitter look like just like a fine glittery top coat rather than like a chrome that you rub on, but it still has that yellowiness. Maybe not as much as the rest. The blue on here is way cooler than this blue, but the yellow is much more dank. I don't like this. I don't like either of these. I'm sad. Well, I'm wiping this off and I'm wiping this off. This is hard to wipe off and like, I'm afraid I'm gonna pop a nail off. You know, when that happens, oh man, sanity level is at a good 10 if a nail pops off. The yellow was not it. Let me see if I can find something else. I couldn't really find anything that's like what I want. I do have this. This is like a disco gel polish and it has like a blue shine to it. I'm thinking what if we add like a layer of this over the nails? Like, is that odd? Okay, I'm not crazy. It also gives it a little bit of a yellow to it, doesn't it? Also, it's too much. It covers up our whole design. It's glittery and cool, but no. I think this is a sign to just like stop. <laughs> just stop trying to put things on the nail and just do the freaking sparkle nail art and be done. And I just put this random layer of top coat on the nails for nothing. Let me do the nail art. Let me just do the nail art. <laughs> so to do these sparkles, you just get a dotting tool. You just put a dot where you want the sparkle to go. Then you get a nail art brush and then you just make the four little lines off of the dot. Is that cute? Is that good? I think I need another one. I 
like it. I like the sparkles. I hate when I'm working and one of my tools will get sticky, I don't know, from like extra poly gel or top coat or whatever it is. And then I touch it and then my hands get sticky. I hate that. And like sometimes if I'm too lazy to clean off the stickiness from my hands, I'll like go and touch my other tools and then all my tools will just be sticky. Yeah, that's all. One right here and one right here. I don't really want to be doing three sparkles, but it might come to that. That top one is definitely going to need to be redone. And this one too. Do you see the leg on this thing? What if I did these nails matte? Would that be good? Would anyone want to see that? I feel like matte might be cool. And have I ever done matte butterfly ombres? I don't think so. All right, here's my matte top coat. We're doing matte. We're just going to do it. All right. All right. Here's it matte. I kind of enjoy that. I kind of do. Um, for anybody who wanted them glossy, here you go. But I think we're gonna do matte because we already have this nail matte and I'm not going back. It kind of blurs out the butterflies in the background and makes the sparkle stand out a little more. I kind of like that. So we're just gonna finish these nails off with some matte top coat on the rest of the nails. You know, something about this nail set, like I just, um, nothing wanted to work out today. And you know, sometimes that just happens and it'll just turn into one of those frustrating type of nail sets that took me way longer than it really needed to okay so i'm just gonna finish these with some cuticle oil hello so this may come to you as a shock um and you're probably also wondering like what's going on why isn't the video ending well um so it's come to my attention that i have literally already done this nail set <laughs> while i was doing it i was like you know this nail set feels familiar but I don't think I've done like exactly this. Well, turns out I literally have done exactly this. Pink sparkles and everything. The only difference was that the sparkles were actual glitters and it was a glossy top coat. I don't know if I really like that, that I uh, kind of just did a nail set that I've already done. I honestly don't think you guys would mind, but, but I mind. So we're here because we're gonna change them. So this is gonna be a nail set makeover nail set redo whatever you want to call it because i feel bad that i've literally done these already we're changing the design after the nails are already done i guess you guys get two nail designs in one vid so what i'm gonna do is make this a french tip keep this one the same make this one jemmy type nail i think and make this one a full blue nail and maybe i'll leave the thumb the same so let's just get filing these away um all i'm really gonna do is file off the top coat and the nail art. Oh gosh, this kind of hurts. Hurts my soul. So I have the nails filed. So for the first nail, I'm gonna do a French tip. I'm using this light blue gel polish. Hopefully this looks good because I can't make the French tip like super deep and I really love deep French tips. I just think they, they look very cute. So we can't really make this one that deep. Hopefully it doesn't look too stubby. That's all. Let me retry. I also didn't wipe the dust off the nails, so I think these nails are getting ready to pop off as well. So I have to be careful or else these things are going to come off and I'm going to be actually really mad. I already know the pinky nails lifting. Okay, let's try this again. okay even though it's like a short french tip like i don't mind i think it looks cute so for this nail i'm going to rub this blue chrome on the blue part of the french tip because you know if you remember we tried to do the blue chrome on the ombre and it just didn't look right maybe it'll look good on here I mean, it still gives it that yellow tinge. Should I put matte top coat over this? Should I keep all the nails matte? I mean, this one's already matte, so I might as well. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I don't know. Hopefully the matte won't accentuate the yellow. Right, so putting on the matte top coat, you can't see any of the, you can't see any of the blue anymore. I mean, 
oh well, you know, it is what it is. I think I might put gems or something on this nail. So I'm gonna take some top coat and I'm just gonna dip the gems into the top coat and then put that on my nail. But don't do this if you want your gems to last. I'm just doing this for show. This might be a big mistake. I have an idea. I have an idea. Is it a good one? I don't know. Do I wanna try it? Yes. So as you can see, we have a matte nail, right? And scratch the gems for a second. A matte nail, but we make crock print design with glossy top coat, hmm? Right? That way you can see the shimmer through the crock print. quite enjoy that. I'm going to cure this. I like this. Finally, something's worked out for us. So I was actually gonna make another nail croc print, but now this one's croc print. So I'm kind of stuck here. The ring finger is gonna be a full nail of the blue. clearly want to use this powder. Like I've been trying to make this powder work many times. It doesn't look too bad on top of the blue gel polish, but it was not looking right just on the ombre part. We're doing the pinky first and I just put a matte top coat on it. Now we're gonna take some rhinestone glue. Did we miss rhinestone glue for my last video? But I'm thinking that this design that I'm gonna do on here is gonna be way easier than the design I did in my last video. Then I'm gonna take my nail art brush and get a big glob on here. Then I'm just gonna glob this on the nail and just make giant glob. Um, I think I kind of like it. Okay, I'm gonna cure this, right? And then I put more blue shimmer on the globs. It's interesting, but I like it. Now I'm just going to take regular top coat and top coat the globs. That way we seal in the shimmer. For the last nail, which is the ring finger, I'm gonna paint matte top coat on this. Okay, and here's the gem nail. This design is turning out to be very nice. For the middle finger, I kind of want to add possibly a cuticle gem or two, just like the little one, two near the cuticle. Finally, let's add on some cuticle oil. And 
here are how the nails turned out for a second time. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I just could not go through with posting that nail design knowing that I already have a video of that same set. So we had to do a little bit of a nail makeover and I am quite happy we did this. I think I might like this design better than the first one. I know for sure we've never done this one before. And yeah, I think these just turned out so cute. Let me know which nail is your favorite. This one, the pinky nail, I'm surprised it worked out. Like I'm surprised I liked it. Here's the thumbnail, just the same thing again. But yeah, I'm happy with these. I actually really like these and um, I feel much better because I was kind of disappointed when I realized I already did the butterfly ombre nail set. Honestly, I think my favorite might be the pinky nail. It's just so cool. I love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pretty different than what we normally have going on. Yeah, I've never done a nail set and then change the design like after we already did the nails but I really enjoyed doing these and I'm much more happy now with this nail design and we finally got to use the blue shimmer in the end it's not exactly like how I intended to use it in the beginning but I like it like this anyway that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will talk to you all next time bye